Hey, besties. Okay, so, um, since you guys really liked the first video where I made over all of the townies families in Willow Creek, I figured I'd move on swiftly to Oasis Springs because they really need the help. Um, and I figured I'd just, like, get the Calientes right out of the way, unlike with the Goths in the first, um, video. They're, like, super iconic, too, and I was just, like, really excited to get them fixed. <laughs> so I started with Katrina, and I changed her hair from that red to dark brown, which is where I feel like her hair color would be. Um, and basically I just made her look so young. Of course she's an adult, but, like, I feel like she'd really take care of herself so that way she looked younger than she actually was. Nina and Nina, I always change them because in Sims 2 they have like Middle Eastern heritage. So like I always give them like a slightly more hooky nose um, and usually deepen their skin just a little bit because as we've seen in the first video, like a lot of the Sims that existed previously to Sims 4, they whitewashed to put them in the Sims 4, and I really don't know what the reasoning was for that, but I don't like it. So, <laughs> I just sort of wanted to undo what had been done, but of course keep their like iconic hair colors, because they're very iconic. And like in my game, I always make Dina and Dawn marry each other because they have like really beautiful kids like their genetics work well and i think they make the most sense because don and katrina don't really make sense at all like that's their mother and she doesn't really exist so like i'm sticking with the canon okay <laughs> not the sims 4 canon i'm going back to the sims 2 and i think out of dina and nina i would rather dina be with them Um, Nina always needs a lot of help, like her Sims 4 version, I don't like it at all, but I, I like how she came out. I feel like Nina would be with, like, insert rich Sim here. <laughs> I don't want it to be Mortimer because, like, I like the Bella and Mortimer happiness that is this alternate universe. So, like, I don't know, maybe she could try with, like, Jeffrey Landgrab or something. <laughs> Someone that's already not particularly happy in their marriage. I'd rather that. And for her outfit, I wanted to keep, like, the pink that she wears on The Sims 4, but, like, make it slightly more risque and give her, like, a cute flower tattoo. Because I feel like she'd have a tattoo, but something, like, pretty. <laughs> and I couldn't decide, as always, on the hair, so I sort of went back and forth quite a bit. But I don't want it to be something long, because I feel like she would definitely have long hair. And then I got to Dawn, and he doesn't need a lot of work because he has a decent face. Like, I kept it almost the same. I just changed his eyebrows, and I think I gave him facial hair or like a shadow of facial hair. And I changed his skin tone because I feel like my reshade preset kind of whitewashes 
some people sometimes, so I wanted to make sure that he was like brown enough. <laughs> and I didn't know if I wanted him to have like long, slightly wavy, curly hair or like long, straight hair. And I think I'll go with the straight hair and like a ponytail. And I want to look like younger Don Lothario because I think that's where he's supposed to be, like younger and not like the adult that he is in Sims 2. Um, and I'd get him like a proper sleeve tattoo. And then we move to the land grabs who I moved John in because it's where he deserves to be. Um, with his actual family. <laughs> and with growing together, I changed up some of the family dynamics and I made him like distant with his parents and have a difficult relationship with his brother Malcolm the Terror. <laughs> So I wanted to give him more of like a younger vibe. He's still struggling and definitely still a bit of an outcast, but like a slightly younger one. So I went with like the cool Sukuna hoodie jumper thing <laughs> and some like distressed jeans. Um, yeah, and I was just going in and like changing up the family dynamics for this family. I feel like they have like the most interesting dynamics of any base game townie family. Jeffrey usually needs a bit of help, but like, he sort of looks like what he needs to look like, you know? Like, <laughs> there's nothing that I can really do to change him to make him look any better than he already did. But he looks like the perfect, bland, old white husband that is a bit clueless to his wife's intentions. <laughs> I kept him very, like, dad. <laughs> um, Nancy, I need to help her, because, like, she's not bad looking. She just needs a bit of improvement, a couple tweaks. And I'm pretty sure it's in, like heavily implied that she has plastic surgery. Um, but like, it doesn't have to look bad. Like, <laughs> they have enough money. Like, I'm sure that she would be able to afford good plastic surgery. And for some reason, I decided to go with the dress that Bella Goth wears, but in green. And I'm, first of all, I really like green on her, but like also I feel like she'd always be sort of like secretly spying on Bella to see like what she was wearing. Because I feel like they had like a suburban mom group or something, I don't know. I got very into the whole lore of it, <laughs> but like I feel like she'd always be like keeping an eye on like what Bella wore or like what she did. And like slightly copy her, but like a knockoff version. <laughs> and then I got to Malcolm. Yeah. <laughs> That's really how I feel about Malcolm. I do not care for that man at all. I think Johnny's definitely better and should have been allowed to be in his family, you know? Like, but whatever. You know, so I just basically, since he's still a teenager, I just gave him a private school uniform. Yeah, and, and that, that's it. Nothing fancy for him. And then the roomies. I never really played with the roomies, like, ever. 
Um, but like you see Zoe Patel like everywhere, so I wanted to give her like a cute makeover because they're all like really young in that household. And I kept it very like yellow because her dress is technically yellow, but like not that like pale yellow, more of like a mustardy color. I really like her makeover. I think she looks really cute. Like the little bow, and by little I mean very large bow <laughs> on my ponytail is like great. Um, Mitchell, I also never really play with him, ever, um, but I wanted to give him better facial hair, and I basically just kept him sort of the way that he is, because he has a good face, I just kept his, like, slightly longish hair, I gave him a hoodie, some shorts, and some sneakers, and, like, that's it, <laughs> and he looks great. Jay Hudson in the third, I still don't know how I feel about him. Either I like him or I hate him. Like, I'm never too sure. His face does need help. Like, yeah, I can't, he had like no lips. His eyebrows were like way too forward. It just, yeah. <laughs> and I gave him like actual cheekbones now. Like you can like actually see like the definition in his cheekbones, which I think does help. Cause it's sort of like implied that he has cheekbones, but like now you can actually see them. Um, and I'm trying to give him like rich guy hair, <laughs> and I think I succeeded. And because like that's what he's supposed to be like, he has like a super rich man, he was wearing like the little preppy sweater tied around his shirt, so I gave him like preppy clothes, and um, yeah. And Gavin Richards. He's like the last thing that we make over. He actually has a really good face. He just needs like slight tweaks, but he has a really good face for a pre-made, especially a pre-made from like 2014. <laughs> I just gave him better glasses, um, better facial hair, better hair hair. And yeah, I kept him very professory looking. <laughs> and um, yeah. And the screenshots are nice. I've been taking them at like the World Community Park lot. And I think they I think they turned out well. I like that they all sort of seem to fit my sim style now. And I'm sort of excited to do the other worlds now. <laughs> Cause I've really been liking how they've been turning out. Let me know what you think about them. And uh yeah.